Right, so this one here is for a friend who asked last night on arm extension. So we're gonna go over arm extension here on the swing. Now we're still going over uh, extension on the forehand. Later on, we're gonna go to work on backhand. But for now, you know, we're gonna stand here at the dotted line just so we have a guide uh, when we're swinging. Um, now, as far as arm extension, I think the first thing that we need to talk about is, uh, you know, the way you're holding the racket, all right? So I'm going to come a little bit closer here. Um, a lot of people are taught to hold the racket like this, kind of choke it. I don't know if you can see it right there. So that's one mistake that most people make that you want to be able to adjust before you can go into the full arm extension because that's just going to help you. Okay, when you choke the racket up like this, you're locking up your wrist a little bit so you don't have that wrist action when you take your swing, all right? So what you wanna do is you wanna have a little bit of an angle like this when you're holding the racket. That way your wrist naturally moves this way and you can get a good snap on the ball, okay? So that's the first thing. Now if we go back here, when we talk about arm extension, ideally, when you're hitting the ball and you're making contact with the ball, you can see my wrist now we have that, that angle going on right here, right? We're nice and low. And your arm is gonna be completely stretched out when you're making contact with the ball. Okay, you don't want any bend, you don't wanna you don't wanna hit the ball like this uh, because it's gonna be really inconsistent. You know, sometimes you may be out here, sometimes you may be in here, so your swing is gonna be really inconsistent. You always wanna have a full uh, your arm completely stretched out when you when you make contact with the ball, right? So that's that's the number one thing, that combination of the wrist and then being fully extended, that's gonna help you with that swing, all right? And then you follow through all the way back here, all right? So now the next question that I got last night was on swing plane, all right? Um, a lot of the guys that uh, are teaching racquetball, um, you know, they always, it's something that everybody has read on a book or maybe they've seen it, they don't really understand it maybe, is the swing plane, okay? So, you've probably heard this before. Um, imagine you have a table right here, right? And you're just trying to swing across, right? And when you're looking at, at instructional, some instructional videos and some magazines that kind of teach you step by step on how to swing, they tell you that, you know, ideally you want your racket to go like this, all the way through, and all the way across so that it's a, it's, it's a flat uh, swing, right? But if you, if you really think about it, you know how uncomfortable it is to start down here and try to keep the racket like this all the way through and then finish back here? You know, that's really uncomfortable. You don't get as much power as, as you can with, with a different swing that I'm gonna show you now. So this, when you finish your stroke back here, I think that's the wrong way to do it. I don't know, you know, what other coaches think. That's just what's been working for me. I'm gonna show you what has worked for me. All right, so the way I was taught, and the way I think it's right, and the way you get the most power out of uh, your swing and the most speed is, you know, obviously you wanna start up here. So what your racket is gonna do is at first it's gonna drop, all right? So it's gonna drop a little bit here. When you get to about this spot, racket's gonna stay flat throughout like this, and right when you're almost, you know, three quarters of the way with your swing, it's gonna start coming up, and you're always gonna finish your stroke over your left shoulder, all right? So you're always gonna finish up here. You're never gonna finish back here, all right? Because this, right when you get about here, it slows you down, slows you down, and then you don't, you don't get that full effect of, of the full stroke, all right? When you go all the way up here, your swing continues, and you, get, you can go through the ball a lot easier with a lot more power, all right? So we're just gonna change the angle here a little bit so you can see what it's like, all right? Let me back up so you can see my racket. So my racket starts up here. It's gonna drop, you can see it's dropping, it's dropping, it's dropping. Right when it gets about here, levels out, levels out, make contact with the ball, and then it comes back up, all right? It comes back up, and I finish right over my shoulder, all right? This right here, really uncomfortable, and you're gonna lose a lot of power, all right? Right way to do it is you start up here, Racket drops down, stays level, and then it comes back up over your shoulder, all right? 